this is our good friend, of course, you know him uh, from our show, uh, our good buddy designer, John Gidding. Hey John is here uh, with a big surprise for one person in this audience, at least, and to continue our makeover show. Now, we're out of show, so what could we be talking about? Here's the deal. We asked several members of our in-studio audience today if they wanted to bring in a photo of a room in their home that needs some TLC, needs a little makeover. John is gonna be giving one of you guys a home makeover on that room tonight, but you must come back tomorrow and you must be okay with John and his truck and all of his team moving into your home this evening when you leave. Tonight. <laughs> John's gonna walk out of the studio. He's got a truck full of stuff he, to work with, waiting for him. He will literally follow whoever this person is home. He will take over your home and redo that room and then come back, and tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. So you must be available tomorrow. If you have doctor appointment you don't wanna cancel, don't come down. Uh, you must be available to let him in your house tonight. If you've got a freaky something something going on, <laughs> do not come down. John is gonna choose right now, right? You yeah, have not, right this isn't staged. You Here haven't we go. seen the pictures. If you agree to all of those terms and you have a picture in your lap, come join us on stage. I took like, care of the turkey burger. This burnt out corner really drew me in. What do yeah. you think? I, again, this is your choice. I don't want to influence. Hi, what's your name? Christine. Christine, can I come home with you tonight? God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Christine. Wait. Christine. Christine. <laughs> Let me make this clear, this is for makeover purposes only. Yes, okay. So tell me about this room. This is your living room? We call it the family room, actually. So why haven't you done much with this room? Because I am very challenged when it comes to accessorizing and decorating, and I cannot decorate a room. Got it. So, so you didn't even... We just didn't bother. The time's come for change. Why now? Um, well, recently I was talking to my kids on FaceTime and I was seeing the room from the camera on the phone and I thought, oh my God, it looks like nobody lives there. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so you saw it from a third eye perspective I that did, you've never seen I it before. Thought, I thought, wow, that really needs some help. <laughs> I've got four design things ready to go. I just have to see the room now. We're not even close, are we? We're stuck and it's getting dark. So Christine, we're still stuck in traffic. Yes, yes we are. How long have we been on the road? Um, about three hours. Three hours? Three hours. I'm stressing out. <laughs> yeah. We have very little time to make this makeover happen for you. Oh, I can't believe we've made it. So why has it come time for this room to start looking better? I need a little bit of a special story though with the house though because um, the townhome where we used to live, I was there with my husband, but he unfortunately got sick and passed away. Um, and then we were left with a, you know, a lot of financial burden after that and I had four small kids. So it took a lot of uh, you know, working and just kind of redirecting my life and so forth. We were able to, um, to buy the house after being in you know, the financial mess that you know, mm -hmm. I was in. Um, so once we bought it, <laughs> We didn't know what to do with it, hence why you're here helping me decorate it now. Wow, you must so, have been really working so, hard, so, raising took, four yeah, kids, yeah, single was, mom for a while. It was, it was a lot, but you know, yeah. in the end it's all worth it. You look back and say, wow, stronger than I thought. Yeah. My friends from Loza here, I want to pull them in, get them uh, started on emptying the room out, priming these brick walls, and I'll start feeling a little more relaxed. Now that we're finally here, we have to take a look at what we're working with. It's a little bigger than I thought it would be, so the most important thing is to start painting no matter what. I'm gonna cut these sponges so that they match the brick, and then dunk them in water, wring them out, dip them in paint, and do like a texture, brick by brick. Because I have all the time in the world. <laughs> We've been at it for a while now, and the primer's taking a little longer than expected, big surprise, but it's because the brick is so textured and there's so much soot that we have to keep applying the primer because it keeps bleeding through. What do you think? Yeah, the more black soot looks good. The more black soot. <laughs> do I sense a note of hesitation in your voice? Um, 
just wondering if that's the final color, right? No, that's no, 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 no. This okay. is just the primer. Right. Okay. And this is sealing in that soot, so okay. it's not going to seep back out, which is crucial. So if you're picking really between these two blues. Um, well, right away, my first choice, I'm drawn to the dark. Yeah? The dark blue, yeah. Cool. Are you excited so far? Hey guys! Hi. This must be the kids. <laughs> this yep. is them. Hi, how's it going? Hi. Alex. What do you think of all this? I'll just elbow you. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. I thought that we were gonna like change a few pillows and not like paint the walls and paint the bricks and everything. It's, de it's definitely a lot more than uh, what I expected it to be. There's a lot more people, a lot more hands-on involved. The paint's going fast, though. It's a beautiful blue color that Christine picked. I love it. Um, it's got a lot of gray in it. I went for the most neutral I could find that still had some personality. The next part is the good part. I'm gonna bring all the furniture, mm -hmm. hang up a few things, and I want you guys to be surprised. So go take a nap, and I'll call you back down when we're done. I have to bring in some furniture and some rugs, hanging up some shelves, hanging up some curtain rods, and then it's all up to me to bring in the final soft furnishings and make it all look good. It's four in the morning, uh, which means that uh, around six in the morning I should be done, which, you know, I'm still hoping that that's real. All right, it's seven in the morning, the sun's up, the birds are up. Let's get Christine up, see what she thinks of this room. All right, guys, here's a new family room. <laughs> oh my god, it's totally different. Pretty cool, huh? I can't believe how different. Come on in, try it out. It's beautiful. Um, the whole room it just has a just nice and airy, comfortable, inviting kind of feeling. Um, it's just, it's way more than I ever could have done by myself or even would have thought to do. I just couldn't be happier and I feel very, very blessed that I was able to receive this.